Hello there, Roach. Let's get going. Your horse won't lose stamina while using this option. Nice. Griffin, this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. The corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. It drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Nearing a village, don't disturb the peace. Town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft. Won't look kindly on accosting others. Local residents erecting notice boards. Cool. Learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happening. Ow! Sorry, kid. Hey there. Go, go. Hey there. Hey there. We're going to play us a quick game of Gwent as well. We have to. First time getting around to it. Remember to kill all the cows you come across to get a secret achievement? Oh crap. A lot of cows. No need. We're used to it. Armies just pass through. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> that cat. His butt was stuck on the table. Night way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor things one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Uh, options marked will be open with the shop panel. Uh, we're looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. <laughs> the horses in the background. Might be worth your while to ask after all. Yeah, we might just do that. Dialogue options marked will end the conversation. Cool beans. Uh, show me what you got. Show me what you got behind the Think we got 50 crowns? We got 300 crowns. Buying and sell items. Awesome. Press A to make a purchase. Press B to close the shop panel. Uh, we don't need any cards. 50 vitality. Five second duration. How much does that cost? It costs five. Why would I get an egg and drink or apple or an egg when they're an apple here for five crowns? <clears throat> well, this is 80. A baked apple. Ooh, fancy. What's up with this? Oh, that's a baked potato. This is bread. We got a dumpling. I like dumplings. Uh... And then we'll buy some bread. What about drinks? They're just water. 20 bucks. We'll get a few of those. Cow's milk. 
Piergi? What, what is what is Piergi? I don't think we need any of this stuff right now. Although, don't tell me I could have bought things for much cheaper. I think we've got enough stuff here to be okay. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Pretty busy place you got. Oh, Slavic dumplings. Gotcha. Russians on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your. That sounds fantastic. So far, but it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on the Griffin? A contract on that Griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection or go to the Lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. <laughs> Thanks for everything. that up please I'm not decrepit yet then I'll ask about Yennefer mm -hmm. just remember we'd rather not draw any attention Running Buck says we draw some attention <coughs> I'm looking for someone and we seek some peace and quiet out of my face freak for your breath sours my beer <laughs> Uh, options marked with the triangle will use the axis sign. The sign influences people's minds. To charm more stubborn individuals, otherwise resist. Invest in the delusion ability. Okay, cool. Well, let's just want to talk. You deaf stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. All right. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. <coughs> Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> there we go. Sit down, good boy. Thank you. Cool. Why not? Al Dirt Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Oxenfurt. Trivia. Witcher with tenure. <laughs> okay. Draw a card from your deck whenever you win a round. Actually, I'm pretty sure I don't remember how to play Gwent. So you're a smart person? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so this is just okay. If I know what I'm about, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's start the game. I will go first. I don't know that I want to go first. Fighting Frost sets the strength of all close combat cards to one. I don't need impenetrable fogs. There we go. Uh, no, I actually like all of these people. So we're gonna keep all of this. I think it's the clear stuff. Removes all clear weather. We may need that. All siege combat cards to one. We'll do torrential rain. We don't want to be in there. All right, so I get to go first. Uh, how do I see the effects of the card? Or is that not how we have to worry about for now?
Sheldon Skaggs. <clears throat> Ooh. Um, let's see. We still have the advantage. Of all ranged cards to one. You know what? Let's go. Is this this does of both players? Up it up up it up 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 up. Hmm, thank you for the follow, Meanie Mouse. So what we can do is I can push one more and see where they're at. But right now, if we set the strength of all ranged combat to one, that knocks off seven for him, which means he goes down to five. And I go down to six. A little too close for me. I'm going to drop Blue Stripes Commando and see if he drops any more cards. Okay, so he's dropped another ranged. So for me, getting the Fog is going to do that number. Of course, they counter with that. Of course, they do. Going to lurk, need some food? No worry. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate the raid and welcome, everybody. If I drop, let's see, that sets it to ranged. No, this sets the strength of all close combat cards. We'll save that for the next turn. Uh, let's go here, force them to play another card. Okay. They're, of course, going to pass. So they won that round. Let's see what they got, though. Okay. Oh, they did. You sucker. That's okay. Because I got a clear weather. Come on, do a close combat. <laughs> what do they got? What do they got? Perfect. I don't even need to do it. Because they have no more cards? They have no more cards. Now... I wonder how this works, because I only have one card left. <laughs> Both of them. Oh, that's funny. What's my leader card? Pick an impenetrable fog? Oh, that's dumb. How does this work then? What? That's dumb. Hmm. Well, if you ever find yourself in Ox, I'll remember that. We should have won that one. Okay, uh, and then what we got over here? I imagine we're not allowed to look in that. Oh, you can store weapons and your stats for state safekeeping. Number of places, items stored in one location be available in all other locations. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, however, we do have this last broski. I feel like he's going to be an issue. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just anyone. It's really windy outside, by the way. Lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. 
two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. I'm not in the mood. Finding her, that'll lift my spirits. You look haggard. It's just a few drops to improve your mood. A little schnapsies never hurt us. You lost because you ran out of cards. Yeah. And he, his trigger, whatever his trigger ability is, it won him the, the game. Gontro Dim, love this guy. Oh, cool. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. <laughs> and runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. <laughs> to your health. Let's just drink. We're gonna we're gonna scoot back here and play from back. Must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you Tell me. It, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guard <clears throat> scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there, dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. A lot of food just waiting around. Okay, cool. Uh, where do I need to go? Probably out there. Let's just uh, have ourselves a walkie outside, shall we? Hello, chums. Then fuck off. Don't want your kind here. Oh no. So just calm down. Of course not. No, you, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Giving me no choice. I can't do that now. What do you mean I can't do that now? There we go. Hey, Roach. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> that was easy enough. Uh, there appears to be a coin of some sort. Uh, yeah, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Cool, game's automatically saved. Oh, that might be a merchant. Okay, never mind. Alrighty, let's go down this way. Get out of the road, kids. Cool. Take it easy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you sharpening that next to a, a, a place where you could just lose it all? It's a lot of sparks flying around, man. Faster. It's also much too windy for my liking. We're going to dismount and go uh, harvest some stuff. Oh, 
I remember this chick watching this chick and it was really hard. Let's see if we can do it. Number of level shows, or number of, uh, the number to the left shows its level. Red is marked the skull, it means the enemy is much stronger. Better to turn back, arm yourself suitably, gain a few levels before engaging. Well, hold on. Can I level up? I can't level. I'm a level one. Yeah, we should probably not do that. Uh, Roach, let's just uh, get out of here. Yep. No, no, not slow down. Not slow down. Let's move along quite quickly. Ah, get out of there. Okay. Oh, it's coming after me. Crap. There we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, you know what? Let's take these guys on. Ow! Let's go, Igni. In a fight, proves difficult. You can flee and fight to live another day. Ah, I'm gonna die! Ah! Fight for me! Roach! Fight for me! Okay, cool. Gas, clouds, and swampy areas are poisonous. Crap. Crap. No! Don't die! Alright. That was dumb. Roach, come here. Roach almost killed me. And Roach is gonna stay there and die. Cool beans. Neato. Love it. Uh, I guess we go ahead and sheathe that. We don't need it. And then we can go talk to the garrison, bro. Uh, who are you, B? There we go. <laughs> Roaches don't care about poison. That's true. <laughs> A witcher. <clears throat> Captain Peter Sugwilevi is in the tower. Turn right past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. Nordling. To the tower. Thanks, guys. <laughs> How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak, peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, <coughs> and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elder man and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. <clears throat> What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. There we go. Slay it. Then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only Dang. recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone, this will not be easy. Like a dead horse. I need a horse. 
Uh, gotta gather a specific herb. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. There we go. She will aid you. <clears throat> Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. A little strange. Tamir. Esundiakta. 